Hi, everyone. Welcome to this training program on Transformers. I am Jain Karam Chetty, a graduate in electrical engineering from JNTU, College of Engineering, Kakinada. I have done my MTech in electrical engineering from IIT, Kharagpur. I have done a diploma in business and finance from ICFA, Hyderabad. I am a certified energy auditor from BEE, Ministry of uh, Power, and a master trainer in solar uh, rooftop grid engineer from NICFA, MNRD. I have industrial experience from the development engineer to chief executive officer in private limited companies and multinational companies for 37 years. I have also experience in teaching and training of engineers and executives as engineering staff college of India, Hyderabad for 10 years. Today, the topic on this is transformers. It works as a conservator and it is also called as a oil preservator system. And the objectives of the module developed is the author is a qualified and experienced in electrical engineering, power electronics, energy conservation, and auditing, a design and implementation of all our photovoltaic power plants to share his theoretical and practical knowledge with engineering professionals to improve their uh, skills and in turn to develop India. Now, operation of conservator it is necessary to exclude moisture from the air space above the conservator oil in order to maintain the dryness of the transformer oil. For transformers below 132 kV, this space is vented through a device containing a dry agent, usually silicon gel, impregnated with the cobalt chloride, through which the air entering the conservator is passed. The most important feature of a conservator is that it reduces the surface area of the oil exposed to atmospheric air. This reduces the rate of oxidation of the oil and also reduces the level of the dissolved oxygen, which would otherwise tend to shorten the insulation life of the transformer. Now, this is how it looks like. You can see that from the conservator, the bottom connecting pipe is going to the transformer for communicating with the oil, and the top of pipe you can see is coming out and going to the breather. Breather is filled with this silicon gel. And conservator has got a MOG also, which will show the oil level. Operation of the conservator. When the moisture content of the silicon gel becomes excessive, as indicated by the change in the color of the cobalt chloride from blue to pink, its ability to extract further moisture is reduced and it must be replaced by a further charge of the dry material. The saturated gel can be reactivated by drying it in an oven with a color of a crystals will invert to blue. The liquid preservation system is called the conservator. The preservation system to isolate the transformers, internal environment from the external environment, that is the atmosphere, while understanding that certain degree of interaction or a breathing is required to accommodate the variations in the pressure that occur under the operational conditions such as expansion and contraction of liquid with temperature. Now you can see the conservator in this particular case, the OLTC tank with the conservator, breather and purity, other whatever is required for the production. And this is the prismatic oil gauges are provided inside the, on the top on the conservator. Sometimes to see for a smaller ones, you can notice the oil level in this conservator. Conservator oil preservation system. Oil preservation practices are used as a COP for a transformer above 10 MPG. Two breathers per pipe ensuring reliability, moisture, and the breather maintenance. Filtration of the oil when the moisture is higher than 50 ppm. A replacement of oil when acidity is higher than 0.3 milligrams per kOH of a gram. Breather with the heater arrangement for continuous recondition of the silicogen. And here you can see the various systems depending on the size of the transformer. The conservator size also goes up. Almost 6% of the oil can be accommodated into the conservator. This is also another figure with a MOG provided on the conservator tank. This is how the magnetic oil gauge looks like. This gives an advantage that the connection between the air and the meter is not there, it is through the magnetic mechanism. And this is the magnetic oil cage, how to fix it onto that. 
so that one is oil leakage will not be there because of using of this type of plant. And conservator for airbag, this is a modern technology, it's working for the last five years. In case of a bigger transformers, this can be provided. Conventional designed conservator, but with air space filled with a synthetic rubber bag to prevent the contact between the oil and the external air. This is how it uh, looks like inside. You can see the air bag and below that is the oil, below that the seven and the eight are the connections to the MOG for the operation of that. This is the bigger one. And flexible membrane A cell. The basic construction of the separator is a high resistance fabric coated external to the resistance, external to resist the transformer oil and internally to ozone the wealth of resistance. The following advantages is given below. Avoid contact between the air and oil, protection against the water vapor and the gases, suppression of the gas bubbles, formation in the oil, compensation of a large volumes. If you use the ASL, the great advantage is for a period of a five years, the oil need not be filtered. That way you can assume that it is a maintenance free. It's a cost is little more, but you'll be saving on the time as well as you are assured that the oil is always in a good condition. You are saving the inside paper insulation in this case, which is a very difficult to do it otherwise. Flexible membrane, the flexible separators are made from the coated fabric consisting of textile reinforcement that is highly resistant to polyamide in the fabric and external coating chemically resistance to the transformer oil, intercoating resistance to ozone and all weather conditions. Major characteristics of the material are listed below. For in case you want to buy it, you can use those materials and the coating is a polyacrylate acronite butadiene and textile reinforcement is a polyamide and the breaking strength before the immersion in the oil is a 300 dA n by 5 centimeters. Advantages of the air cell, simple design with no extra expandable parts, niches and negligible maneuvers for inspection, extended service type to prevent corrosion, oil can be filled into the transformer tank without being exposed to the air. Since the insulation of the oil is completely isolated from the atmosphere by the air cell, there is no possibility of oxygen or moisture penetration of the oil. Pressure on the surface of the oil is constantly maintained at the atmospheric pressure, offering no possibility of the oil becoming super saturated and forming bubbles. Thus, high dielectric strength can be maintained. This is the end of uh, this module and other modules on the following subjects are also available. I request all of you to go through that and uh, get the necessary training for you. Transformer oil cooling and uh, book holds relay, OTA and WTA and PRD. Thank you very much to all of you for the patient hearing and good day to you. Kindly see the remaining modules also and also subscribe for my channel. Thank you very much. Thank you.